Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Here is your news for August 30th, 2019. We're starting off with some news about Big Cass and Enzo Amore today, as it seems the rumored return of the popular tag team to WWE is not going to happen. On August 29th, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reported that WWE was in talks with the two about returning to the company, with the planned comeback seeing Enzo and Cass return to NXT when the yellow brand moves to USA Network next month. This isn't the first time that Enzo and Cass have made headlines recently, as Amore made a scene at last year's Survivor Series pay-per-view, while the pair did something similar together at the Ring of Honor New Japan G1 Supercard in April this year. In a tweet later that same day, Dave Meltzer would say that WWE has no interest in signing the certified Gs, and that would be the statement the company would issue to several news outlets. Now, we all know that wrestling is known for its swerves, and saying they're not interested could all be a ruse so fans will be surprised when they do come back, but for now, nothing is certain. It's possible that WWE want Enzo and Cass back solely to avoid them going to AEW, as the Wednesday Night Wars will begin in October when the new promotion launches their own show on TNT. During the Being the Elite mailbag at StarCast 3 this week, the Elite took every opportunity to take some digs out of the biggest wrestling game in town. When asked why he didn't have Pyro for his entrance, Adam Page said it was because they were working on a WWE budget, referencing the recent cuts made by the company. When asked about bad wrestling, Nick Jackson said that everyone was forced to watch WWE at some point, and though his Young Bucks partner Matt said there were no intentional digs at the McMahon company, it's clear what was meant. Odds are there will be plenty more digs at WWE by AEW in the coming weeks, as Cody's broken Triple H throne is also on display at StarCast as the war between the two companies is picking up steam. Two superstars who aren't going anywhere anytime soon, though, are Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, who have continued their feud on SmackDown Live, despite what had been reported in the past. On Wrestling Observer Live this week, Brian Alvarez said that the plan was for the Brian Reigns story to conclude at SummerSlam, but WWE decided to extend the story a while longer. While discussing when these two will finally face off, Alvarez said, We're probably going to get to it at Clash of Champions, but they could hold off until Hell in a Cell. So that was the idea that they were going to wrestle at SummerSlam. They decided they were going to do this compelling angle to make people more interested in the match. Though Bryan vs. Reigns would make a fine main event at any pay-per-view, the card for Clash of Champions is already stacked, with six matches already confirmed for the show. For Raw, the new tag team champions of Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman will defend their titles against Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler, and regardless of the outcome, The Architect and The Monster Among Men will face each other later in the show for Rollins' universal title. On the SmackDown side of things, WWE Champion Kofi Kingston will hope to get some revenge on Randy Orton when the pair face off in a SummerSlam rematch, while Charlotte Flair will hope to add a 10th title reign to her career when she faces SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley. The show will also see Cruiserweight Champion Drew Gulak take on Humberto Carrillo, as well as the finals of the 2019 King of the Ring in what is sure to be one huge night for WWE. Though the WWE superstars will certainly be kept busy at Clash of Champions, that doesn't mean they can't keep an eye on the news, as the Wrestling Observer has said many superstars are paying close attention to a current lawsuit in UFC. The basic gist of the suit is that UFC fighters could soon be competing for a lot more money if they win the case, and that could set a precedent for WWE superstars down the line. With the UFC taking a significant cut of the revenue generated by fighters, the cause is that these fighters are being underpaid in a major way, though it seems not as much as WWE superstars. Between 2011 and 2017, the combined total of the UFC fighters' earnings came to $626 million, while all WWE superstars in those six years collectively made $400 million. And to put that into perspective, boxing star Floyd Money Mayweather was able to make $658 million for just himself in that same period of time. Though it's unclear what the future holds for the superstars' pay, one thing that does seem for certain is a pay rise for the men and women of NXT, 
as the roster are reportedly already seeing their checks increase in the run-up to the show moving to two hours long, as well as moving to the USA Network. One superstar who isn't hard up for cash, though, is the icon Sting, as the former WCW World Champion had one of the greatest in-ring careers of all time, before announcing his retirement at the 2016 WWE Hall of Fame. Though the Stinger may be out of the ring for now, it seems that could change, as earlier this year at StarCast 2, the icon said he would love to work a program with several current stars. Among his list, Sting said he'd love to compete against Braun Strowman, even comparing the monster among men to his old rival Big Van Vader, and also said he'd love to wrestle Bray Wyatt. This last point is certainly interesting as Wyatt recently took to social media to say the WWE Hall of Famer was his next target. Having the Stinger face The Fiend would certainly be interesting, and with WWE's record of having Hall of Famers compete at their Saudi Arabia shows, it's very possible that Sting would want to come back. That may be easier said than done, as following his 2015 Night of Champions injury, the company has medically disqualified Sting from ever competing again, as it seems this dream match will stay a dream for the time being. Though we'll probably never get to see Sting face Wyatt in the ring, fans can still watch countless matches of the two superstars on the WWE Network, though that may be more expensive for some viewers. The network, which is supposed to cost $9.99 a month, was recently increased in the state of Maine, though it isn't because of the rumored tier service the company are reportedly working on. Instead, this increase to $10.53 was because of a tax implemented by the state on certain forms of internet sales, a tax WWE didn't want to pay, so they passed it on to their customers. So far, it seems Maine is the only state with a tax that changes the WWE Network's price for now, though the company may need to start putting a disclaimer on all of their advertisements. Though this price increase won't have been received well by the main members of the WWE Universe, speculation is still running rampant of a tiered service in the near future. According to reports, the tiered service could mean fans pay more to see independent wrestling on the streaming service, though for now, nothing is set in stone. Though he may be the leader of AEW, one superstar who appears plenty on the WWE Network is Cody Rhodes, who has certainly been busy this week preparing for All Out. Earlier this week at a live show at StarCast 3, Rhodes talked about his career both in and out of WWE and told a story of being supported by Rey Mysterio. According to the former NWA world champion, Mysterio was standing around the ring before a show years ago and eagerly told Dean Malenko that he was going to face Cody at WrestleMania. Doing just that at Mania 27 in 2011, Mysterio even helped put Rhodes over on the night, something Cody clearly hasn't forgotten. The American Nightmare closed up the discussion by hinting at the possibility of Mysterio joining AEW, despite returning to WWE last year, saying, I hope they do right by Ray, because if they don't, I'm gonna steal that s right off them. Hashtag contract tampering. Though having the master of the 619 in AEW would be interesting, it seems Mysterio won't be going anywhere anytime soon, as he recently started a new storyline revolving around his family on Raw, which, according to rumors, will see his son Dominic join the WWE roster at some time next year. And finally, today we're ending with some news from The Rock, and though he may be a huge star and a leading man in Hollywood, the Brahma Bull will clearly never forget his wrestling roots. This week, current Impact World Champion Brian Cage took to Twitter to praise former WWE superstar Ken Shamrock, and these sentiments were echoed by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. In his reply, the People's Champion said how Shamrock helped build The Rock's character, and thanked Ken for all he did for his career. Older fans may remember Rock and Shamrock's war over the Intercontinental Championship in 1998, as well as the pair meeting in the finals of that year's King of the Ring tournament, which saw the world's most dangerous man capture the crown. Despite leaving WWE in 1999, the former WWE and MMA star has remained a popular person among wrestling fans, and recently set up his own bare-knuckle fighting promotion, Valor. Earlier this month, Impact Wrestling announced that Shamrock will be making a return to the promotion later this year, as it seems the first-ever NWA TNA Heavyweight Champion has some unfinished business inside the squared circle. 
Well guys, that's our news for today. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video. 10 huge shocking WWE 2019 rumors you need to know about. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and as always, thank you for watching.